anyway, it's kind of a short update. Uh, I picked up a couple Grim Speed manual boost controllers uh, since the last video. 95 bucks a piece. I probably don't need them being I'm going to run spring pressure, just run on gate pressure, but uh, I got them anyway. I wanted to share this with everyone. This is the fuel injection. Yes, I've opened it. I'm not going to unbox it because there's 900 unboxing videos. But there it is. That part, I also have the distributor, the fuel pump, the fuel filters, the regulator, the ECM box, or the CDI box, and the coil. Everything is going to be holly. Uh, I just got this out of the tote that I have all the other parts in. So I could start reading up on it and basically how to set up that Hall Effect distributor, which is a process in itself. And there's something else I wanted to share real quick too. Here's my starter. Okay. I've always used these guys. I've had good luck with them. But here's something I want to share with people that have a small block or a big block Chevrolet V8. You want a starter with 10 teeth on the gear. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can find these knockoff starters, cheaper starters, and I've used some of them, and I've found some with 10 teeth gears, and they work fine. But a 9 tooth gear will not mesh to a 153 or 168 tooth flex plate worth a damn. They just won't. You can shim it all day long. It's not going to mesh right. You want a starter with 10 teeth on the gear. You won't have any trouble. The ones with 9 teeth, you're going to have problems. And I've been through this. I've had starters where I've shimmed them, couldn't get them to work. I've actually even had them bust right in here because they just can't mesh right. So... And for what you spend on those will fit starters like on Amazon and different play eBay, you know, you're going to give 60, 70, 80 bucks for one. This is a Power Master starter. It's not the highest torque one, but this one was $111. I bought it on Amazon. Uh, it come through, I think, it was either, I'd have to look, either Jags or Speedway Motors. They both sell on Amazon. But uh, it was $111. And the shipping was free. Again, that's why I buy a lot of my stuff off of Amazon. Because, especially big ticket items, you can get them for free. So, I bought uh, all this Holly stuff off of Amazon uh, through a company, Southwest Speed. And I got that $100 cheaper than Summit or anybody else sells it. And I got it delivered for free along with all the other stuff distributor rather than 249 I got the black one for 229 the fuel pump was 352 rather than 377 at summit so yeah and then I also got because these VS racing waste gates and I did confirm I called VS racing and said they told me that these are a gen 2 they have an 8 and 12 pound spring in them that's why there wasn't no springs in the box like the normal 44 millimeter waste gates. And uh, I'm going to take them out. I'm going to clean them up. I've watched videos where guys have, you know, found a little bit of metal shavings and stuff in them. Uh, take them apart. But these are two that I just threw in here. They're green slash gold. These are tile MVR. These are 4.3 pound springs. That's what I'm going to start with. I also have a five pounds, I've got seven pounds, I've got eight pounds. So we're gonna play around, but we're gonna start with these four, four and a half basically pound springs. And these are true tile springs. Uh, and then here's the other waste gate, the fire ring, I guess is what you call that. There's the other one. There's all the clamps, which actually uh, go to them. There's another piece that goes to one. Uh, shit's all just laying in here loose. Actually, I think that is... 
yeah there's the fire ring to that one but and then some other stuff and these are water cooled i am going to run water through them i got a small radiator that's 12 by 12 by 2 inches aluminum that i'm going to run up front and i'm going to come out of the motor through the radiator uh, out of the front intake port and then run it through here back out of here and then dump it back into the top hose going back to the radiator that way they're getting cool water I bought billet uh, oil feed and oil drain flanges from ICT ICT I think it is billet for the oil fill and the oil drain rather than the cheesy cast crap that comes with the, the turbos but we're gonna get started uh, I know I keep saying that but you know uh, as I I've got totes full of parts because I started buying all the parts and I just put them in these totes put lids on them and put it up like I said I pulled this out so I could start reading everything because there's a different procedure for setting the distributor up and stuff that you have to do and go through all the wiring uh, what additional wiring I need to do for it uh, getting all that figured out uh, wiring for the fuel pump what it resolves and uh, start getting basically all that laid out what buddy yeah bumblebee oh you lost a part dude you need to go get your other part pop will fix it but I just want to make that real quick and and put that little tip I don't know people may agree they may disagree but I've always had issues with starters unless they had a 10 tooth gear on them on a small block or a big block Chevy so with that in mind I thought I'd share that real quick if you buy a 10 tooth starter I guarantee you won't have no trouble no trouble at all out of them so and then of course there's the blow off valves they're also VS racing I think I've shared all this before so and these are a I want to say 50 millimeter and they've got a pretty pretty stiff spring in them now here's a little bit different spring I'll probably put the weaker springs in it it's just gonna be a play with thing this is gonna be a learning curve for me I'm not gonna use this because I already bought a tube three inch tube that's got two of these already built into it so and then of course there's all your fittings and your stainless v-band clamp so but yep and then of course there's my two fittings up there for that but i'll let that be i gotta help my son with a buddy put a starter issues on a 5.4 motor and an expedition so with that being said i'll make another video when there's more to show guys later